Also out this morning with us is Chris Gaster. Thank you for taking the time. And you are um, the race co-founder and also oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and also the former VP of Cancer Services. Thank you for taking the time out to be with us. Yeah, absolutely. It's a wonderful day and I'm so glad that you guys are out here helping to promote the race. And this race, this is the 36th annual event. How have you seen this race grow? Um, over those years? Well, it started with the Junior League, yeah. and for people who remember the word Dayton's that used to be in town here, yep. that's where the race started. Um, and it's just grown momentum over the years. And I think it's a real tribute that 36 years we're still growing the race, and it's so awesome that the other five regions of Avera Cancer Institutes are now participating in the race as well to really spread it across South Dakota. And we kind of have a prime view here of seeing the mm -hmm. runners come and go. And yeah. when, you know, they took off this morning, it was just a sea of mm. these peach shirts. What, how does that make you feel personally, just seeing the impact of, that this race has made? Yeah, it, it actually brings tears to my eyes for the last 36 years. Yeah. I mean, this is amazing what happens is, and our cancer survivors are the ones that, that's what brings tears to my eyes because they see all this support yep. for them. And they know that the monies that we raise, like you mentioned, 100% stays in the local community. But it's the support um, that people coming out, supporting them, really raising the cause up against cancer is um, it's amazing. It's really a twofold benefit here. Mm -hmm. How do you hope to see this race grow, if it can even more in the future? Yeah, I, I actually see it growing. Yeah. So each of the five regions, including Marshall, Minnesota, yep. Um, each of those regions are growing their races. I think down in Yankton, they had close to 300 people wow. um, participate in their race there. So that's how the race will continue to grow. And then the city of Sioux Falls in our proper area is going to continue to grow too. So I expect our numbers to grow here in Sioux Falls. 6,600 participants this year for this race. How many were there on that first year? I think that we probably had somewhere around 1,000. Wow six-fold increase yeah. over a 36-year time span. That's something else. It is. Yeah. So it's been amazing, and it's been amazing to be a part participant in the race, handed off from the Junior League to Avera, yeah. and working with the foundation, um, and Jackie hager Tushin, of course, yeah. just to keep the energy going. Real shows a real dedication by Avera um, to their commitment to cancer care. And a benefit to the, to the patients receiving care and their families, um, working with the Cancer Services Department at Avera, you've seen firsthand how cancer can touch patients and touch their families too. And this this is one of those silver linings where people going through tough times, they have that support, not only financially, but just being here, seeing yeah. all the people here for them, running for them. It's a, it's a pretty special day. It's a very, very special day. And those funds, you know, really do make a difference. Um, I mean, the, you know, the wigs, the integrative medicine, um, just helping individuals with needs that they have, but that navigation center of having a resource 24-7, 360 days a week um, makes a big difference, and that's where um, many of the funds go, and that is for really any cancer patient, whether you're part of Avera or not, yeah. we are there for you. Chris, thank you for your time this morning. Absolutely, thank you for all you're doing. You bet, thank Appreciate you, Chris. It. I mean, this